yo, 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 yo. Here we go, systems of equations. So we're gonna start solving systems of equations by graphing. So the first thing we need to know is what a system of equations is and what a solution to a system of equations is. So a system is a collection of one or more equations that involve the same set of variables. So it's when we have one or more. So we're only gonna deal with systems of two equations. So it's when we have an equation like this, 3x plus 4y equals 12. This is a linear equation because it has an x and a y. And then that's going to be paired up with another equation that also has an x and a y. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation to figure out what combination of x and y are a solution to both of these equations. So what combination of x and y will make the top one true but also make the bottom one true as well. So this is a solution. I mean, this is a system, and the solution is whatever x and y are valid for whatever combination of x and y are going to work for both of these equations. Another way to look at that is which x and y, which combination of x and y, or which point is on both of these lines. Because I know I can graph this, this will make a line. I can graph this one, this will also make a line. So I want to find out well, what all we know that x and y are all points that are on th those lines. So therefore, which point is on both of these lines? And so if I'm graphing two equations, and I know that, well, this is a line, and then maybe this is also a line, the only point that is on both of these lines is where they intersect, right here. And that's going to be my solution to the system of equations. Let's look at some examples. So first, I have what is the solution to the system of equations right here? I have the system, I have the equation of y equals negative 2x minus 4, y equals 0.5x plus 6. So what we're going to do is we are going to graph both of these equations on the same coordinate plane. So I'm going to graph this first one in purple. Negative 2x minus 4, so I'm going to start at negative 4. It's negative. I can't really, I can go down 2 and over 1, that'd be right here, but I also have to go up 2 and over 1 up to over one and the difference with systems and then just graphing regularly is we need to have a lot of points okay because we're looking for a point of intersection so we need to have accurate graphs that have a lot of points okay because that's going to help us out quite a bit so my line's a little bit off but there we go so there's my graph for y equals negative 2x minus 4 now, I also, on this same coordinate plane, so all of these points are solutions to this linear equation. So now what I want to do is I want to graph my second linear equation on the same graph and figure out where they intersect. So 0.5, that's really just 1 half x plus 6. So 1 half x plus 6, I'm going to start here at 6. I could go up 1 over 2, but I could also go down 1 over 2 because that's going to take me to the direction that I want to go, right? If I keep going this way, it's not going to, that's not going to, I want to figure out where they cross. So down one over two, down one over two, and look right there. We should be able to now see where these lines intersect. Okay, they intersect right here. This point right here is on this line. It is also on this line, which means that this point is a solution to both. Phone call, uh-oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So now I'm going to graph this equation on the same corner plane. Oh, we already did that. My bad. I'm getting caught up. So here we go. Here's my solution because this point is on both lines, which means this point is a solution to this equation. And it's also a solution to the bottom equation. So this point is here at negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that is with this one. Negative 4, positive 4. So that means negative 4 and positive 4 is the only solution to this system of equations because, and so we can also write that as x equals negative 4, y equals 4. Either one of these would be an acceptable way to write the final answer. And the reason why is this is a solution to this and this. And it's the only one. No other point on each line. No other point. There's not another point that exists that's on both lines. So this is the only possible combination as a solution for this system of equations. And that's all we're going to be doing today. So it's just graphing. It's just making sure we know how to graph no matter what the format is in. So like this one right here, try it on your own. See how you graph and see if you can figure out where they intersect. So pause it, try it, see how you do. So for the second one here, I'm gonna graph the second one first. So I got y equals five minus three x, that's positive five. 
minus 3x, 1, 2, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3 over 1. Let's see if I can just draw a straight line. Is that the worst straight line you've ever seen? Quite possibly so. So let's just not do that because it's really hard to draw that straight line. All right, now I won't undo. Oh my goodness, this is a disaster. We're going to leave it, even though it's the worst line you've ever seen. So, no, I can erase. Here we go. We'll just erase and see if we get a point of intersection with me not drawing a line. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to graph this top one right here. Now, the first one we can graph by the intercepts, or we can graph by changing it to slope intercept form. Either way it works. Graphing by the intercepts will sometimes work, but sometimes it won't because it won't give you really an accurate point of intersection. So it really depends on how accurate your graph is. But if I graph by the intercepts, when y is 0, my x-intercept is, let's see here, um, 25 over 15, which simplifies to 5 thirds. Okay, So 5 thirds is going to be, that's my x-intercept, that's in between 1 and 2, it's about right here. When x is 0, my y-intercept, oh, that worked out nicely. My y-intercept is 5, which is right here. So we got lucky here where the intercept is that point of intersection. And there's that other graph. So because this is the point that's on both lines, my solution is this point of x is 0, y is 5. Now, had I converted this to slope-intercept form, I actually would have been able to see that without even graphing because I would have subtracted 15x from both sides to get 5y equals negative 15x plus 25. And then I would have had to divide by 5. But when I divided by 5, I would have gotten y equals negative 3x plus 5. I'm, what I can see is that these are actually the same line. Do you see how negative 3x plus 5? So this is an incorrect solution, which means I did something wrong when I graphed. Oh, because the ah, it's over here. That's not less than 1. Oh my goodness, that's 1 and 2 thirds. So if you guys notice, they're the exact same line, which is why I drew them both so super crooked. So this is already one of the worst lessons you've ever watched. I apologize. I know I made mistakes, but it's all good. So I graphed this in the wrong spot, so that graph is incorrect. Let's go backwards real quick. There's my awful crooked line. These are the exact same line. If I change this to slope-intercept form, I get the same thing, which means if they're the same line, all of these points are intersections, right? All of these points are on the same line. So that is an example of a sol system that has infinite solutions. They're the same exact line which means I can plug in any value for x and y, and then it'll give me an answer for both of the equations because they're the exact same line. So whenever you end up graphing the same exact line, the answer is infinitely many solutions. Okay, I apologize for that mess. Let's move forward. Okay, solution to this system, pause it, try it, see how you do. We know for sure this one's not infinite solutions because I can already tell because they're both in slope-intercept form. One's a negative slope, one's a positive slope. They have different slopes, so therefore they have to have um, only one solution. So go ahead and graph it, see how you do. Okay, so when you graph them, the top one in red is the red line, the bottom one in purple is the purple line. The point of intersection is very clearly at negative two, two. So my solution is x equals negative two, y equals two, or it could also be just the ordered pair of negative two, two. So either one of these are an acceptable answer to this system of equations. Okay, last one. Again, I do want you to pause this one, try it out, see how you do. Um, convert this to slope-intercept form or graph by the intercept. But if you look right away, if I graph by the intercept, I'm not going to have a perfect point here. So it's going to make the graph a little bit difficult. But it might work, it might not. So I would convert this to slope-intercept first, slope-intercept form first, and then graph it. So pause it, try it, see how it goes. Okay, so here are my two lines. I did the top one here in red. I did the bottom the one in purple here, and that's 1 half x minus 3 over 2. So I did graph them. And we notice these lines are parallel lines. And this is one that also 
some of us might have noticed immediately when we converted this to slope intercept form because they have the exact same slope. This one's one half x, this one's also one half x. So because they have the same slope, they're gonna be parallel lines and parallel lines never actually intersect. So they have different y-intercepts and so therefore they are not the same line, they're parallel, they're never gonna cross, so the answer is no solution. There is no combination of x and y that would work for both of these equations. So there's no solution to this system. So if we have parallel lines, no solution. If they're the same line, infinite solutions. Okay, that's it. So maybe actually, let's write that down. Parallel lines. Have no solution. That's a good one. Okay, here's a word problem, I know, for independent practice. Let's see how you guys do on that one. And... Um, that's it. If we cannot read this in our notebook, that says page 96 of 220. And this one's page 6 of 220. That shows where they're at. Okay. You need that information to be able to write your two equations. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you need any, have any questions, let me know. Gradius out.